Hello, my name is Matthew Barton. I'm the program manager here at the ETI for our smart systems and heat program. And I would like to talk to you about the Energy Path operations project which we're launching. First, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the heat challenge in the UK and then the smart systems and heat program to put it all in context. So within the UK, heat places a demand of around 40% on the UK energy system. So a significant challenge which needs to be addressed if the UK wants to meet its CO2 reduction targets. There are many angles to this challenge. The role of the consumers, the variable demand which they place on the system, the technologies which may be used to satisfy this demand, the business models that we wrapped around these technologies, and the policy environment which will enable all of these technologies, business models and consumer value propositions to be satisfied. So it's within this framework that the ETI established the Smart Systems and Heat Programme in 2012 to take a holistic, system-wide view of the energy system challenge in the UK. The Smart Systems and Heat Programme will seek to develop cost-effective and future-proof local energy solutions for the UK to be deployed during, as part of a UK energy system transition from 2020 and onwards. So that's the context for Energy Path Operations. Now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about this tool we're seeking to develop. So for the solutions that we're seeking to implement and produce, we want to know first, will they work? And if they do, how will they work? This presents a significant simulation challenge for we want to understand how technologies, business models and consumers may interact with one another on a real-time basis. We also want to understand what business processes, future markets and policy requirements will be required to enable these solutions to be rolled out. And then finally, we ought to understand what information communications technology is going to be needed to enable the operation of these systems in a cost-effective and reliable manner. That is effectively the scope of the software tool that we're seeking to develop. We believe we need to work with teams who've got a broad range of understanding of the challenge in front of us. People who understand engineering, software development, commercialization of different value propositions and an understanding of policy and economics. So to that end, we have now published a request for proposals which is available from our website. We'd like you to read this. We'd like you to come and talk to us. We propose to hold a bidder's workshop in April where question, we can brief you more on the project itself and give you the facility to ask questions for clarification. We'd then like to talk to you on a one-to-one -one basis if you're interested thereafter. We'd like you to tell us if you're interested in taking part in the project around May timeframe and we would like you to present to us project proposals in the June timeframe. The details are in the RFP, my contact details are available on the website, I'd really like to hear from you, thank you.